Charlotte introducing the president and immediately after this video the president will give his speech accepting the nomination of the Democratic Party once again for president of the United States. popular in the short run that would lay the foundation for recovery. No other country in the world would give up the capacity to manufacture cars if it had. And so he did what the government's supposed to do in a case like that. Do not rescue the automobile industry. I mean, it was overwhelming. Look at the polling number. A, a country in the midst of a financial crisis that no one really, you know, uh, knew the depths of the challenges that were coming. I think he, he had a sense. My grandparents came out of the Depression. They knew what it was like for people not to have work. Uh, we all understand work as something more than just a paycheck. What gives you dignity, it gives you a sense of purpose. He said, you guys got to work together and come up and everybody's got to have some skin in the game here. You got to have a give up. You got to modernize the automobile industry. Everybody said, ah, it's never going to work. Well, guess what? 80,000 more people working in the car business than we did before the restructuring was passed. They're middle class jobs. People can raise a family on a decent wage. And we've gone from an economy that was shedding jobs to one that's consistently creating jobs at, at all sectors. Every night, he's up until 1, 2 o'clock in the morning with his big stack of briefing books, and he reads the letters he gets from people all over America. They are, as he put it, some of the most informative pieces of material that he gets that keeps him grounded. And anyone who has kids know that the truth is, no matter what you do, your kids still think that they are the most important people in the room. So we sit around the dinner table, and he's the last person to be asked, oh, yeah, how was your day, Dad? You know, I mean, really, he's an afterthought. He never starts a conversation by saying, what's the best political decision here? What will help us the most? Never. So he wasn't going to back out just because it got hard just because it didn't pull well. That's just never been who he is, and it's certainly not how he will ever govern this country. When my mom got cancer, she wasn't a wealthy woman, and it pretty much drained all of her resources. Watching your mother die is something that could have been prevented. That's a tough thing to deal with. The reason he pushed ahead, knowing that there could be horrible political consequences for him, just as for me is that health care costs have gone up three times the rate of inflation. This is a huge economic issue because we spend 17.5% of our income on health care. Anybody who gets medical care, you, hundreds of thousands of dollars. You know, imagine working class mom opening up that kind of bill, you know, with a, you know, somebody sending that to her with a straight face. That understanding of that kind of reality for millions of Americans drove him to make sure that this legislation got passed. It, it takes a, a conscious effort to stay connected with what's going on in, in people's lives. This was a matter of principle for him. He ran on it, he said he was going to do it, and he did it. You hire the president to make the calls when no one else can do it. to decide. 
That's one thing George Bush said it was right. The president is the decider in chief. We were only about 50% sure that bin Laden was in that compound. But I had 100% confidence in our Navy SEALs. I sat in that room with him when we were getting feeds on what was going on at the time. He sat there resolute, concerned, just watching. I got him. Confirm it. Just boom, boom, boom. Then came and explained to everybody the next day in the cabinet room what happened. I mean, this is a guy who, as I said, a backbone like a ramrod. Good evening. Tonight, I can report to the American people and to the world. He took the harder and the more honorable path. And the one that produced, in my opinion, the best result. When I saw what had happened, I thought to myself, I hope that's the call I would have made. It was just the right thing to do. and the strength and the character of the American people. They don't quit. They don't give up. Partly because of family, partly because of a sense of community, patriotism and pride in this country, they keep going. the American people keep giving back to me in this job.